So why are teen numbers so difficult for pupils to understand and use correctly? Well, it's partly down to the way that we speak. When we hear a number, 42, we hear 4 and then 2 in that order, 42, 64, I hear the 6 and then the 4. So it follows the way that we actually normally write from left to right. Teen numbers are different though. When we hear a teen number, what we're hearing first is the last part of the number, the units digit. So 16, we hear the 6 first. And quite often children will write 6 and then think about the teen. You may know it means 1, but following on from what they already do with other numbers, they write the 1 second in the units. 16, they need to know that teen is a 10 and goes first. And that the 6 goes second. So effectively we're reading and writing those numbers back to front. 16 as opposed to 64. That's why it's so confusing. So a lot of repetition needs to be done with teen numbers before moving on to T numbers. So we know teen numbers are those numbers that start with 110. But they're so easily confused with T numbers because they sound so similar. And we don't stress for T or teen generally when we save a, save a number. So 17, 70. It's a very, very slight difference that pupils have got to get used to listening for. So or T numbers, just to make it a bit more visual, if you hear the T, is I like to think of my favourite drink, which is a cup of tea. You can hear that in a number. So these are my favourite numbers, 7T, because it reminds me of a cup of tea. But I can also see visually that this number reminds me of my cup of tea, a nice hot cup of tea. So there are two clues to the fact that we're expecting that zero on the end of a T number. There are no units. T, 7T and the zero can just be drawn to look like a cup of tea. The one number which does start with 110 but isn't strictly speaking a T number is 12 and 12 also causes a lot of difficulty. We don't say teen so there's no reminder in what we say that the 110 is needed at the front. A lot of pupils will actually confuse 12 with 20. Or with 21. So really there is no easy way to remember 12 apart from learning it. Few children have problems with 11. So following on the sequence of 10, 11, 12, is the easiest way to really think about that number and remembering it's one followed by a two, one ten and two units. But it, again, it needs a lot of repetition. So once we've worked on teen and T numbers, they may come more confusion. When pupils count up in the teens, 17, 18, 19, because we've been stressing that teen, they may say 20, which obviously needs correcting to 20. The other problem we may have is when we start to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. If you hear children then saying 20 instead of 100, they're actually thinking in teens as they count. So instead of saying and thinking 70, 80, 90, they're quite probably saying and thinking 17, 18, 19, and so 20 comes next. So it's really important to listen to what children are saying and actually get them to repeat clearly those teen and t endings every time they say one of those numbers.